CJ Moto here with my EB48.4 and I just got an exciting new video series that I'm going to be bringing to y'all fresh off the presses. Good morning y'all, it's CJ Moto and I'm back today and I'm doing some maintenance here of my car after I was done running in the sandy tracks at Texas. I was at 452 Raceway this weekend and last weekend I was at Panola RC so they both have a lot of sand in them and so I'm getting good at the sand maintenance and this is a good example well this is basically what will happen after you take your shocks off so the car will just do that and when you're actually running on the track if you don't get in there and clean out these hinge pins after every few races even midday maybe then yeah you're going to be getting a lot of bind and your shocks aren't going to be working like they should have been so basically I took everything off the chassis down to the chassis plate and then I don't completely take the steering assembly apart because it seems to stay really nice and free for the most part and then I just clean the steering assembly off. I don't clean any part out in the sink if it still has a bearing in it. So like this I'll just lightly brush it off with a, with a um, brush and I wanted to show you one thing real quick. My favorite brush to use is definitely the J Concepts tire brush. I just, I've tried different ones, but I really like the texture of the bris bristles on this. So anyhow, just a little tip there. Um, so you take every part off the car and then you want to take the hinge pins out, out and you want to clean them up real good to where they look brand new again. And then you have to take the hinge pin or they make like a uh, bottle or a straw cleaner a guy told me about, but you want to just clean all that out with the hinge pin as well there's my daughter you want to be on the video no. okay so basically you clean out those hinge pin holes and what you're looking for there is eventually you clean them up enough and then your hinge pins will just well your hinge pin should just slide right through here mine aren't quite the air you can basically see it they all but slide through but uh and then after I clean everything, I literally take it to the sink once the bearings are out. I'll take the bearings out of everything. And then I will, uh, hopefully she don't walk over here. She's not wearing a lot. Um, so then I will, where was I? <laughs> Crazy little girl. Um. Yeah, basically take all the bearings out, then I'll take it to the sink, and I'll literally scrub each part off uh, very thoroughly, dry it, and then I'll spray it down with, uh, I ran out, the bottle's empty. But I'll spray it down with this SC1, and it's just pure silicone, so it'll just make the plastic look really nice again. I've already done it to the center section. But yeah, I'll get it down to the center section, and then if need be, I'll read. I'll re, uh, rebuild my diffs, rebuild my suspension. After you run in the sand, you really have to meticulously go through your shocks. That's one of the most annoying parts. Like you have to really get in there and thoroughly clean every little thing because there will be sand in your shocks. After you run there all day, it'll even possibly take the coating off your tie nitrate shocks if you don't clean it often enough. So it'll just get up in there and your seals in the bottom. And just pack up and it's basically if you don't know sand is glass so i don't know if everyone knows that but that's how they make glass they melt sand so basically you just have millions and millions of little shards of glass rubbing against everything on your car and glass ain't no wimp glass will win all day so what else clean it up each part disassemble it clean it up scrub it don't ever scrub anything in the sink that still has a bearing in it. Make sure you take the bearings off. Just wipe them down. Add a little more tri-flow to them. That's a big thing there. If you just rinse your car off in the sink, your bearings are all going to be shot the next week. I can pretty much guarantee it um, from experience. Even if you air blow them out with an air compressor. I don't really like using air compressors at all. Uh, cleaning my car hardly at all other than late, uh, light air down. Because it will get all the crap in your bearings that you don't want in there it'll push it right into your bearings um then you want to come home and obviously put your batteries in storage mode don't forget about that charge your radio clean all your tires 
I ran these motos all weekend in the deep sand, and I really liked them a lot. They worked well, so there's still a lot of tread left on them. You can see them real quick if I hold them up here. There's a lot of tread left on those puppies, obviously. So yeah, they were awesome. Had a great weekend. I made a little video out there. Y'all can check that out. Uh, please check out my playlists. I got um, a playlist just dedicated to wrenching on this car. So please check that out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my videos. Most importantly, subscribe. Please just take the time to do that. And if you want to hit that bell button next to the subscribe button, that'll let you know whenever I have a new video pop up. So yeah, cool stuff. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, happy Memorial Day. We went out this morning to the to do a little Memorial Day thing with a bunch of veterans, so that was cool. Anyhow, I'm going to get out of here and go eat it for free at Hooters, I think. So that'll be nice. CJ Moto out. Dance, dance, dance. We're going to dance, dance, dance. Woo! Yeah! Very nice.